The brain is the most complex and least understood organ in the human body. Weighing in at approximately three pounds, the ability for such a small part of our body to function well has a significant impact on our life. For years, the prevailing thought was that in adulthood, the older we get, the worse off our brain is. However, significant improvements in neuroimaging research techniques, along with the amazing capacity for humans to bounce back after traumatic brain injuries and strokes, has taught us how wrong we were. Comedian and actor Tracy Morgan provides an excellent example of the brain's ability to recover. In June of 2014, Tracy Morgan was involved in a multi-vehicle accident and amongst his many injuries, he suffered from a traumatic brain injury. For those who are unfamiliar with this term, a traumatic brain injury is when a bump, blow, or jolt to the head disrupts the normal functioning of the brain. Morgan was in a coma for eight days following the accident and he underwent months of physical rehabilitation and cognitive therapy. He had to relearn how to walk. After his accident, he started in a wheelchair and then he graduated to a walker followed by a cane. He is now able to walk independently without the use of an aid or an assistive device. Morgan's recovery shows us that even when brain tissue is damaged or destroyed, it is possible to relearn tasks or activities that were thought to be lost forever. Morgan showed not only the capacity for the brain to recover after a severe injury, but also how the ability to teach our brain new things is still possible as we age. His brain's ability to continue changing after a severe brain injury is evidence of brain plasticity. The success of his recovery can be credited both to the treatment he received in the months following his accident, as well as his brain's ability to reorganize and form new neural connections in order to relearn tasks such as walking. Although part of his body's ability to recover following damage to the brain can be explained by the damaged area of the brain getting better or repairing itself, most is the result of neuroplasticity in the brain, the ability for the brain to reorganize itself by forming these new neural connections throughout our lifetime. So if the brain is so plastic, why doesn't everyone who has a traumatic brain injury or a stroke recover full function? The answer to that depends on a variety of factors, factors such as your age, the size of the area damaged, and more importantly, the treatments offered during rehabilitation. In general, younger brains have a better chance of recovery. However, the brain is able to reorganize, create new neural stem cells, and build new neural connections across our lifespan. Another factor that impacts brain plasticity is aerobic exercise. Decades of research overwhelmingly shows that aerobic exercise improves our brain's plasticity. And finally, research on the impact of diet on brain plasticity, although it's still in its early stages, has shown that having higher levels of vitamins B, C, D, and E, as well as omega-3 fatty acids, are all associated with better brain functioning. Researchers have found a significant amount of evidence to support the idea that our brains are capable of adapting and rewiring as we age, as well as after a significant trauma such as a stroke or a traumatic brain injury. In short, our brains are plastic and malleable throughout our lives. Whoever said you can't teach an old dog new tricks was clearly not familiar with all of the evidence to the contrary.